Hello there, it's Craig from Unleashed Education here and today I'm going to be showing you where on earth these images have gone. If you have ever lost track of folders or files in your Lightroom catalog, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to find them and how to reconnect them to your catalog without losing all the work that you've done on your images. Welcome to this week's editing toolbox video. We release these every week on a Friday and Charlotte and I always take turns each to share a quick tip, trick or technique that we hope will make your editing life a little bit easier. Today I want to take a look at folders or files that have been lost in Lightroom in your catalogue and show you some ways to relink those and also go through a couple of best practices for how to manage your catalogue so that you avoid this happening in the first place. So you can see here in my catalog, I have my 2023 folder set up and within that folder is all the work that I've done for clients so far this year. You will notice that this one here is grayed out and it has a question mark by it. So that's indicating that Lightroom has lost this folder. It doesn't know where it is or where to refer to to access those images. That is also reflected in the fact that any of the images within this folder have all got exclamation marks in the corners. So none of those images are located by Lightroom. There's really three reasons why Lightroom may have lost access to this folder. The first reason is a pretty simple fix and you don't actually need to do anything other than relink a hard drive. So if your images are on an external hard drive, I know it sounds obvious, and the hard drive isn't plugged in, then of course Lightroom is not going to be able to use those images. Resolving that issue is easy, you just need to plug the hard drive back in. Reason number two is that the folder has potentially changed location. So have you moved it from one place on your hard drive to another from outside of Lightroom? And the third reason is that the name of the folder has changed. So again, if you have manually changed the name outside of Lightroom, then Lightroom will no longer be able to find that and reference the images within it. Finding the folders, it's all relatively easy. So I'll show you how to do the folders first. So we can right click on the folder and just go find missing folder. So if you're not sure where you have moved it to, you can just use a search box here and just type in, I mean, I always name mine with the, the date. So I can just type in the date here, 20230113. And here we go. Here's a folder with Marley and the date there. That's probably it. Now, if you know where it is, and I know where this is because I've actually just renamed it so I can show this demo to you, it is in my 2023 folder, but I have actually renamed the file. So we can just navigate to the folder in your Finder or your Explorer and relink it that way. So click on there and you just hit choose. It's as easy as that. Now, what that's actually done as well is if we go back to that folder and we look at the bottom here, it's found it and it's given it the new name. So it's renamed it Rescue2. Now it knows where all of these images are. You can also do this on an image by image basis as well. So you can see that everything is found, but this image here has still got an exclamation mark. So if we click on that, it's telling us this still can't be found. Would you like to locate it? Yes, we would like to locate this. And again, I've renamed this so that I can show you how to reconnect them for demo purposes. But the process would be same if you're losing stuff at home. You would either do a search and you can search by the file name here. So you can just copy your file name into your search box. Or if you know where you've moved it to, you can just navigate to there. I know where it is. So I can go back to my hard drive, back to my 2023 folder, back to this folder here with the Chihuahua Rescue images in it. And now I can just say, I can either scroll through and find the image, or I can just find the image within here. So let's just do 5071, the last four digits of that file name. And in this folder, and it's the PSD file because it's the edit. So this is the image here. This file has a different file name. If you want to double check it, you can just go to the folder We can open it up in Photoshop or Preview or whatever, check it, go, oh yeah, 
that's the same. And just hit confirm. Relinking your files and folders in this way means that you do not lose any of the editing work that you've already done. If you've moved the folders on your computer manually, don't just go back and re-import the images into Lightroom because they're gonna be duplicates in your catalog. They're gonna not have your edits on. All of the things that you've done to them up until that point where you move the folder is going to be lost. So please do use this method and relink them this way so that you retain any of that hard work you've already done. If you need to rename things or move things, then you can also do that within Lightroom. And then that way Lightroom is not gonna lose track of where these files are and you're never gonna have these issues where you're coming up with all these question marks, exclamation marks, giving you warnings everywhere. So again, easy. We just right click and go rename. And I can rename this folder now, just taking off that too. And now if we look at that folder in Finder, you'll see here the two has also gone. This was an adoption shoot for Chihuahua Rescue. And these guys were all up for adoption. But this wee lady here at the end, she doesn't belong in here. She was one of the volunteers dogs who just happened to be there on the day and I took a couple of shots for them as well. And so this is not in the folder that I want it to be in. And it's really easy to move this. All we have to do is click and drag and put it in the folder that we want to. You'll get this information up here saying moving file on a disk and this will cause the corresponding file to be moved. So we just go move. And now Lightroom has not only moved it in the catalog so it's in the right place here, but it's moved it on your hard drive so that raw file or that PSD or whatever you were referring to is now in this folder on your hard drive as well. So there we have it. If you're using Lightroom to catalog and edit your images, then make sure that you're doing any moving or changing or renaming your folders from within Lightroom itself to avoid having any issues where the linking on files or folders gets lost. Hopefully this week has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, as always, you can pop them in the comments. I can try and get to them and answer any questions you have. And I will see you again very soon in my next editing toolbox video. Have a great week.